Moods and emotions make music powerful. They can help us get through a rainy day. They can power us through a seemingly impossible set of reps. Or they can help us mend a broken heart and so much more. So some of the emotion in music comes from the top line, right? The surface layer, the singer, the melody, the lyrics. But a lot of the power comes from underneath. It comes from the foundation. And a big part of that foundation is the harmony, the chords. Think about Rihanna's earnest, heart-wrenching performance in Stay with Mickey Echo. It's a beautiful melody and eloquent lyrical story arc, but the impact of just the vocal doesn't pull too heavily at the heartstrings. However, the simple, elegant piano accompaniment, and particularly the harmony underlying the vocal performance, accentuates the moments in the story of the song that can give us pause about a previous fling or another intimate moment in our own lives. That is the magic of moods in harmony. The chords that a composer, producer, or songwriter choose to go underneath the melody have a huge and varying impact on the emotional power of the song. In this course, we're going to look at specific moods conveyed by contemporary popular songs. We're going to break down the chords and scales that appear in those songs and try to figure out how they contribute to the mood that you're feeling when you listen. Then we're going to go through some exercises that will help you use those same chords and scales in your own compositions or productions so that you can illustrate whatever moods you're trying to get across. Let's get started.